Hey guys, on Gaming with you again. Time for some Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode, I was talking about how there had been an expansion that came out, and yep, I was right. That day, Legacy of Rome, an expansion for Crusader Kings 2, had came out. <coughs> Excuse me. And one thing that's interesting is whenever they do these expansions, a lot of the stuff you get for free, even if you don't buy the expansion. So, um, like, I didn't buy it, but a lot of the new features I have in my game. I don't know if that's a mistake. Maybe they fixed it. But like the uh, retinues, the factions, um, leader focus, I don't think I have though. Um, one of the things that's new is, uh, well the factions, see like the factions are in. That's one of the things in the expansion, so I'm not 100% sure what's expansion specific. Um, maybe it's some of the stuff that has to do with the uh, the Eastern Rome or Western Roman Empire, whichever it is, Constantinople, the Byzantine Empire, you know, which has to do with, um, yeah, maybe that's the stuff. By the way, one of the things is you're supposed to be able to actually provoke the county. What? Okay, so see, look, this one I'd gain one intrigue. There's these plots that you can do to actively improve your king, your uh, ruler. See people dead. So the main one here is I have a plot. To revoke the county of reigns from my son, who is is he my heir? He should be the heir, right? Prince of Ireland. So does it no longer say they're the heir when they're the heir? Oh no no, it does down there at the bottom right. Yeah, heir to everything. So like I could do this plot to revoke a county from my son. But why exactly would I want to do that? What, where are these countries? Now, it would give me one intrigue, which is interesting, but I don't see any need to do those right now. Um, decisions. Um, I actually don't want to do that, though. Um, actually, don't cancel it yet. I want to see who all would join this plot. How Would it be easy to succeed? 4%? No, it wouldn't even be easy to succeed, because I would need at least a plot power of 80 and so let's cancel that. What is... so reigns. Reigns is... these are the two they want me to revoke. So if we did this one, it should be about the same, right? Not very many people would be interested in helping me get that. Yeah, just this guy in Acre for some reason. Makes no sense. So we're gonna cancel that as well. We will, we will go ahead and choose a plot though. I want to have something. Plot to kill Augusto. My grandson. My grandson. The Baron of Jericho. His opinion of me is a 13. Um, his... Hmm. And of course we can always kill off our wife. I'm interested in this one. 28%? There's no one who'd be interested in helping this. So yeah, we're not doing that. If you remember in the last episode, we got ourselves um, back on the good side of the Pope. Thank goodness. It only cost us like a thousand gold, and we're in the hole. So let's continue on. Uh, one of our goals right now is we're trying to expand. Looks like the Kingdom of England is starting to come back together. Um, Dorset's still off on its own here, it looks like. And we were trying to get in on Dorset. So what we were looking at was claimants. We do have a claimant here who would join us. Problem is, if we get a hold of this guy, or this guy, who'd be the better one? Let's look. This guy's got better stats. He's got a very good intrigue. And he's not ambitious, right? No. Duchy of Cornwall. What? Is that where he lives? So, he has no titles, right? He has a lot of claims. Whoa, he has a lot of claims. He's old, though. Um, we're gonna invite you to court, yes. So, we might be able to make some headway there. Another option is we could try to conquer these dudes. We could, and then that would... Excuse me. Um... The Duchy of Duerbreath. That's not what I wanted. 
what is this? Reigns is um, du jour. Duchy of Brittany. So this is all one duchy, typically? The kingdom? The kingdom and the duchy are one? So this is an option. We could try to get capture this. This is interesting. Because we're kind of waiting on stuff to clear up up north there. So we could start going after this guy. Who's his allies? Um, Upper Burgundy? Duchy of Upper Burgundy. Where is that? So you really don't have much ally power. No, you don't. So this is interesting. So let's see, can we get any claims going here? Uh, Valid Casabelli. I don't have one. Offer vassalization? No. Let's see. Well, let's just look for who has claimant claims on this. This guy, who is actually an excellent military leader, he has a claim. She has a claim. And the Queen of Castile has a claim? Is she married? Wink a wink a wink. Well, let's get this guy. Yes, we want you to join my country. And... Let's just look here. Um, Duchy... How about the kingdom? Okay, let's go back to the duchy. And let's just look at some of the other counties here. Who has a claim on this? Anyone who would join me with good stats? This guy's got a pretty good... Pretty good stats, so we'll invite him. Offer vassalization? No. So he controls this, but we're still just looking for claimants. So, Nance. Claimants. No luck. So if we go back, we go to Vans. Your the Empire of Francia. Interesting. Okay, well, we, we have some claimants coming in now. We need to find land to give to these people. Now, I guess one option would be to try to revoke something from my son. My son is in love with me. He has a claim. Uh, entertaining. Oh, so these are some interesting things. Um, you know, these are more important. Fabulous feast. I, I do want to try to get his land, I guess. Because if I can give these titles to people then I can press these things, so. Let's try to get this one back. So, yeah, um, 4% plot power isn't a ton, and that guy's a tool bag, but maybe when these guys join my court, they'd be willing to back my plot. So we'll go ahead and get things going. We need to Uh, sure, we'll go ahead and make the deal. Alright, that guy accepted it. That guy's joined my plot. And not really much in the way of people who want to join the plot. Yet. Okay, that guy has arrived at my plot, that guy has arrived at my court. Come on, we need some people who will join us in disposing my son, or, I'm, or I need to abandon it. Some are fair. Um, it's a lot of gold. Yeah, we're just going to continue to whittle some time away here. So. We could press this claim, um, but I need to give this guy some land. So declare war. I do have valid Casabelli. Offer vassalization? No. So, distant realm? I'm right over here. 
Uh, she's a Saxon queen. Her husband is dead. Her heir is old as balls, too. And his wife is young. His heir? It would have been cool if I could have got her married into my my clan. Okay. So. See, all I want is I want some lower titles to give away. I want to test this. So, like, uh, I can't take his title. So, like, for example, the Barony of Trem. The person who runs this is in jail to begin with. His heir is this guy. Uh, he's in red, so that means it goes away if he inherits it, right? And I can't revoke his title. So, huh? Oh, that's the line it's in, so somehow the Baron of Barony of Trim is part of my kingdom of Jerusalem. It makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, you're imprisoned by the Caliph. Is there anything... If you know, post in the comments, let me know if you know how I can revoke a holding, like this city, from someone. So let's go to this guy. So I could revoke his title. Um, 5% chance that he will revolt, which is basically nothing. Now, I can invite him to my plot, he would not join. I need some plot power. Okay, so... Okay, so I think this is an update, because I don't remember this actually telling me why they wouldn't. So that's a three. His opinion of Little John is... Uh, he likes me a lot. Base reluctance. So I need someone who doesn't like political concerns versus Prince Little John. So how... So I need people who don't like Prince Little John. Is kind of where we're at. And people who like me. So let's look at. Um, can't look at the ones who said yes, can I? To see how close it was. So that one's not close. That one's close. They already like me a ton. So this one's close. I might be able to get that guy, but still, he's not worth much. Ooh, there we go. Gusto, he's still only 4%. This one I could get, it's 1%. Some bribing. Like, all these guys who I could get are low power for the plot. Yeah, 4%. I, my best bet seems to be... Uh, what? Something just popped up on my Steam. My best bet seems to be people who are of the clergy. The clergy seems to be most in favor of it. This guy doesn't like me very much, the, this duke. I do need to work on him, because he's the one that's behind that faction rebellion. But he was super expensive, wasn't he? Send gift. Yeah, 102 gold for 70 opinion. Um, he wants to become steward. Can I make that happen? How good are you at your job? This guy's a 25. No one's, I think, gonna come close. I actually have... a 33! What? How is he a 33? Sheesh! That's the highest score I think I've ever seen, is a 33. 
That is an insane score. Wow, I have some really good people in, in their positions right now. This guy wants to become a marshal, become a marshal. Everyone wants something. Wow. wow that's impressive. I we claim on the county of this. That's a strange one. Now, like, I have a claim down here against the Pope. I don't want these lands anymore. There's no way to get rid of them. Unless maybe if I revoke the titles. Um, prison. I think I would have to revoke his title and then give it away. I think that's how I could do it. Am I correct? I don't know. Huh, interesting. They conquered this. Okay, we're not getting anything done this episode. Let's go ahead and unpause it. Get some time going. Ooh, look. He's been split. Someone conquered a large portion of him or made him split up. That is very interesting. Holy ro our freaking Byzantine Empire just smacked up and took all this land. Now I could give Sicily away. What's going on here? Who are you? Okay, so is Sicily taking you over? Defending against du jour war over Cool. So they're conquering that. What's this say? Why is the fat war score twenty four percent? Sweet. I think you were losing, my friend. That's good to me. No longer guardian, okay. So we're just killing some time. What's this? Faster oh, okay. We're gonna have a really good score when this king... Like, this king isn't nearly as impressive as my last king, though. Do I have a claim here? Uh, no. Does anyone have a claim on your land that I could invite to court, then? This guy. He sucks. Okay, now I'm curious. Could I press the claim? I could. Okay, and let's just look at this. Stop moving mouse. So, if he's of the same dynasty, or if I'm the du jour liege of the county, it will also become a vassal of me. See, it says if I'm the du jour liege. I'm not the du jour liege of this land. Does it make him of my dynasty if I give him my land? Because someone in the comments said, if I if I find someone who has a claim, I make them a vassal by granting them land, and then I press their claim, they will stay in my kingdom. I just don't see how this works, though. So... Um... I want to test it, though. I do want to test it. Um, let's look at... Before I go any further... What's the opinion of me by my court? Is it very high right now? Overall, it's pretty good. I only have a few people who are lagging behind in their opinion of me. Um, my vassals, I do have a couple low. This chick. And it's auto-saving because I didn't pause. So I could revoke a title from her. Can I imprison her? Okay assassinate her. It'd be expensive. How much would a gift cost me? 44 gold. We're gonna do that. 70 opinion. So, that was worthwhile. I do have some vassals who don't like me. Why is this chick in jail? Who arrested her? So, she doesn't like me. Her heir is... No good.
Duchess. Okay. Select a vassal to transfer to her. Why would I do that? Well, let's just look. How much pers how much favor? Only twenty for transferring you vassals. That's dumb. How much should a gift cost? Thirty-seven. We'll go ahead and do that. I'm just trying to get my vassals in a good position here, because I'm about to make them all mad. Jeez, did I not just send this guy a gift of a hundred gold? Just do it. All right, so my vassals. Baron and Jericho. Baron, 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 Mares, Mares, Mares. Those guys all don't matter. Okay, guys, we're going to try something. So we're going to revoke a title from someone. I'm feeling... This guy's. And I can't. We're going to revoke your title. Alright, how about this guy? Finn de Melifont. Your stats suck. I want to revoke your title. Uh, he will hate me. We're going for it. Okay. So now, who has claim here? Um, boo -boo. Claimants? Claimants. Can't see him here, so we'll look at it this way. Who has claim? It is Goodwinson. Right? So, his liege is me. His wife is way better looking than he is. Let's grant him a landed title. Did I not just revoke a title? Or do I have to wait for it to complete? Of course. I thought I just revoked this title. Hold on. Eleven days, okay. Rush around trying to get everyone to work harder, not smarter. Get everything ready for the banquet and guest charge arrive patiently. Sweet. Me and my son love each other. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, so we took his county from him. He sucked anyways. And... Let's, um... Let's do this. So declare war. Fatty here. Fatty, fatty, fatty. Can't you see? Sometimes your rolls just disgust me. And I'm going to grant you a landed title of the Barony of Melifont. Yes. You're probably a better leader for it anyways. You... and eh, no, not really. You have zero diplomacy. That's great. So. A big test, guys. If I press this war, it says, can be used by me to press this guy's claim. If me and Baron Oshir Melifont are the same dynasty, or if I'm the Dujor liege of the county of Dorset, uh, Baron Oshir Melifont will also become a vassal of mine. If I lose the war, I pay 1,500 gold. <laughs> lose a ton of prestige. And this guy loses his claim. I would have to pay 1,500 gold to lose this war. That's disgusting. Let's just double check to make sure this dude has no good allies. He has a ton of allies. Oh, freaking balls. Denmark. England. Uh, some duke. So here's what we gotta do. If we declare this war, we have to utterly smash this guy 
quickly. So, challenge accepted. Bam. War declared. Time to raise the troops. 5,000 troops! Whoa. That will probably be enough, but let's get some more troops. How about you guys? Come on, you gotta have some troops I can raise. I can't raise your troops? Oh, you suck. What if I just click right here and raise troops? It's not very many. Uh, select. Little John is not leading this army. This guy is. So, why do I not have more troops here? Raise from domain. I don't have many personal troops. So we need some boats. I have a lot less troops than I used to. Um, raise boats. I have a ton less ships than I used to. This is concerning. Okay. Can I raise your troops? Yes. Okay, all of you guys get marching. My total military count is way lower than it used to be. This is very concerning. Well, I'm gonna raise your troops too, buddy. Yeah, I'm raising all my vassal troops. For some reason, they don't have any. Alright, so this should be enough boats. How many, boat, how many people can this group of boats hold? 4,900? So, merge up. Boat up. And boat to here. Now troops, march on. Boat, return. What's the uh, 19,000? Plenty good. Dangerous factions. Uh, he wants independence. How do I deal with these freaking factions? Where was the screen? Factions. How do I deal with it? Someone tell me how I deal with these stupid plots. They're freaking annoying. These uh, factions. Is it possibly like this? kill them? No? Super annoying. I need to know how to deal with these stupid things. Alright. Merge. You guys merge. Boat. So you know what? These troops are getting here way too slow. Just stand down. Should be able to finish this pretty quickly. Alright, you guys go home. So, I've been told that if I have more than 10 times their number, I can do that freely. Looks like it's working pretty well. Alright, I've smashed you. Offer peace. Forced demands? No, of course not. Press the siege. And this should win it for us. That's all of his holdings. Alright, that's 100% war score. We won. Offer peace. Yes. Bam. We did it in time. Stand down the troops. Sweet. So we conquered Dorset. We're getting set to make a play down here. <clears throat> so it did work out. Thank you for the person who gave that suggestion. 
I see that it has worked out. I can see how this is going to make some really messed up lines, though, in our, in our kingdom. And that's sweet. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. i got to figure out this faction stuff. It's I'm unhappy with it, actually. It's a cool addition if you're not a king. But as a king, how do I deal with them? That's what I need to know. Thanks for watching. Post in the comments. As always, on Kimmy.